Okay guys, I missed one thing right there. There's some adjustment in that idler, but it's all the way over. And it but it does pick up the slack. Watch this. Look at that. So that'll driver. Not happy with it. But beggars can't be choosers. Now I can actually order online the proper belt. Okay, and my next problem. I've got a leaky exhaust valve on this engine. There's a lot of crap I have to take off to get to it. So let's just start. So top dead center, I'm getting air leaking out of there. What a rip, eh? So now, my friends, let's set you up. So we gotta get the carburetor off so we can get to the little uh, valve door. There's a, there's a gasket there. Woo! All right. Well, I might as well take the carburetor right off. All right. <laughs> okay, now we get to find out what the heck's going on. 560. Sorry, I'm yellow. You want yellow? It's a happy yellow. Okay, yeah, here we go. Oh, that was loose. So here, get you guys to come over here. Oh, this is a good little engine, you know. Okay, here we go. Don't exhaust. Intake. Compression. Down a skosh. Boy, it's not that bad. I'm gonna just stop. Uh, get some finger gauges. Nothing. Okay, we're down to two thousandths of an inch. And I'm using my memory. I think it's supposed to be either ten or twenty thousand. Oh, there's two of them there. Two and three and okay, so let's go to let's go to three thousandths. Let's crank it up a little bit too. Okay, here we are. Engine specifications, there we go. Bore 2.75 inches, right there. Ten thousandths of an inch on that valve. Are you there? Valve clearance 2.75 inch bore, both. Ten thousandths. There's the proof. The written proof. And it is nice to see it in a book, eh? So I'm just going to see if it'll pull on my skin. I'm going to take it to the top. Yeah, it's got, it's got good rings. So what I did there was I stuck my hand over top of here, went to top dead center, Stuck my hand, seal it real, as tight as I could, and then turn this. You hear that? If there was any problems that it would, uh, it wouldn't suck like that. Now, let's just see if there is a exhaust valve kick on the uh, decompression. Intake, 
sucks the gas in, compresses the gas. Oh, there's a little one. Just a tiny kick there. The exhaust goes out, sucks the new juice in, compresses it, and we just go a tiny bit past. Now I'm going to uh, get those valves out of there. It's been a while since I did this, man. I used to do power tunes all the time. a minor thing after it comes, right? Okay, that's the exhaust valve. Well. Might as well do both, because we're going to lap them. Okay, where's that little freaking hole? Good. When you've got a flathead engine where the valves have pounded down and the valve seats have actually sunk into the block, these valves, just because of pure hammering for years and years, they actually, uh, the tappet gets more, gets closer and closer and closer. And on a pushrod valve, on the modern engines, they get sloppier and sloppier and sloppier. So it's the exact opposite problem. Let's just get a flashlight. I'm going to just show you what I do here. Can you see that pretty good? And you just touch this barely, right? Sometimes I go to the side if I've got some support. And then I chamfer it a little bit. And then over here is a brush. It's a little rough. Well, I'll keep going. Thanks a lot. So that's how I do that. All right. I haven't done a very good job of filming this, but I'm just, right now. I'm just going to uh, take the deposits off the top of this piston lightly and then we're going to lap the valve. Now I did that with the with the piston at top dead center and both valves inserted. We're going to take a little bit of oxygen here, clean that off, and I've got that exhaust valve halfway to the, halfway ground. So now I'm going to lap it before I finish taking the more length off of here because you want that to be at 10,000. So you don't want it to be at 11 and you don't want it to be at 9. So now we're going to lower this guy down a little bit. Put a little bit of valve grinding compound on the edge of this valve here. 
I already cleaned it on the wire brush on the grinder. And I, I cleaned it with uh, methyl hydrate on the end so I can get good suction. What I love about methyl hydrate is it evaporates so quickly. Okay, let's get our, uh, our valve grinding compound tool. Who's it in my finger? Ouch. Now, I don't know if I can get you guys in here close up, but... This cable is driving me nuts! Man, let's just get it out of here. Temptation is to go faster once you get it going. That's not it. Okay, let's have a little look. It's kind of at the bottom of the valve in the valve seat, not the top. That's kind of interesting. It is coming though. Okay. A little more valve grinding compound and we might do the intake tomorrow. You look, it goes back and forth and around. There's the sound increasing, which means your, your grip is getting finer and finer. And then when you start over, you just tap it, and then the sound goes lower again. And the reason why you, you uh, lap the valves after you have a little bit of a gap is because if you don't, you're just jamming up against that tap. I guess I should close this. It's so cold out right now, my wife took the car over to the gym which is a walkable distance, but not in this temperature. Okay, let's get this on the roll here. With this well, I still haven't gotten the full 10,000 scout. Perfect! Yucca root. Ah, now we're getting somewhere. Let's 
shirt thing. guys are still watching. Okay, do you see that gray line on the valve? It's really even and nice all the way around, but I guess the top of the valve is square, right? So that's very good. Now I can finish grinding it and we might stop for the day. Now I'm, now I'm going to finish the 10,000th gap. We're at five, I believe. Just, just at five. Woo! Now I'm going to take a little bit more off this gap. It's nerve wracking. So when I finish this up, I'll come back and show you what I've done. Okay, so right there. This, this is the ten thousandths, it's brass, it just fits in there, and when I, uh, can I get you guys some altitude? I push down on it, it's just grabbing, right? I'll spin it a little bit. Let's go to eleven, I'll just prove it to you. There's two tens in here. One's brass, one is silver, and then this one should be 11. And my numbers are, I'm losing my numbers on my feeder gauges. Okay, that's, that's 11 and it was hard to pull. Great! Now I just got to do the intake, but it's actually already good. I just need to, uh, that's right, I just need to lap it. I might be able to get this guy back together again today. Yeah, that's that's a 10. Where's my 10? You know what, I'm going to lap that right now. I'm going to clean this up on the grinder. We've got a little problem with the valve guide, which I will fix with a quarter inch drill bit. Okay, just cleaning this valve up might make it slip in and out of there easier. Yeah, it's a little tough, eh? But one minute. I know for a fact that that, uh, that that valve guide is a quarter of an inch and it's just a little stick. Maybe a chunk of carbon in there. One quarter. You guys aren't going to believe this, but I'm going to take a drill bit and I'm just going to rotate it in the... I'll wash it with a little carb spray. Good. Wipe it out and then we're going to lap this valve. And I can put these valves back in. And the rest of the assembly will be tomorrow. Hopefully we got a good little engine after this. It's been a battle. Now I want you guys to look right here at the direction that this guy travels. I'm hardly pushing it. Perfect. Let's have a look. It's 
really quite good. I didn't have to grind it, eh? So here's it once again is that gray line. It's just below the uh, square valve, and it has been a while since I did a Tecumseh, you guys. Probably three years. Okay. No, that's good. Okay, now we should still have ten thousandths of an inch on our on our gap. Yep. Yep. I'm thrilled. I'm almost tempted to put them together so that we got a partially assembled engine. Yes, I'm going to do it. Okay, that's going to run a lot better, you guys. That's called a power tune. So you put this together with the little hole that slots into the valve. Oh, that's a snotty little... The last inch of that. Oh. Good. Exhaust, suction, top dead center. Let's do the other one. So the little groove that takes the notch in the keeper, I put it in the back. Right at the back. Here we go. Valve goes in. Compress this a little bit. You don't have to go crazy. It's much easier putting them in than it is taking them out. Should we just give it a squirt? Oh, that valve was a little bit looser, eh? I'm going to put just a tiny bit of oil on that. It's like assembly lube, right? I use transmission for it. Okay. I'm just going to spray that a little bit. I'm going to wipe this cavity out. Exhaust, intake, compression, top dead center. Good enough for the day, baby. All right, my friends, we're almost there. I had to put the gas tank on, no, the starter, the gas tank, the uh, carburetor, the shroud, because the, the head bolts hold all this stuff on. One of the things I'm not really super thrilled about. Yeah, let's just do a nice cross pattern. Let's go. I guess we should do it all right. Eh? Five minus uh, five minus five takes us to ten. All right. Now we go up to twenty. Fifteen. Twenty. Let's go 21, because we went 20 last time, right? Okay, and just go around, put the chair. I'm going to do 
do two things now. I'm going to put just a tiny bit of oil into the cylinder, just to cheat a little bit, improve the uh, lubeability. We're going to get an extension cord out, and we're going to test that starter at the same time we do a rough check for compression. But this is even the mufflers held on with the head bolts, right? times the compression we had before. So let's get that muffler on now. What do we got left? Two washers, that's no big deal. Uh, now we're on the screen now. We're torqued on the head bolts. We're cleaned up on the head bolts. Spark plug. I think we can use that spark plug. Good. The tune shouldn't even have changed any. It's taking on gas. Let's just choke it and pull her open and see what happens. Yeah, she's good, she's good, three quarters throttle, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just going to yank the rope. No, I'm not, I'm going to try and start it with the electric starter. That was the biggest part, one of the bigger parts of these jobs. Are you guys ready? Shouldn't run across the room. Into you. Uh, how do I turn it off fast? Right with the throttle switch, good. First time it's ran lean in its life. <laughs> now we got a little work to do. We got I want to retune that carburetor somehow. And uh, we gotta put the chute on and adjust the scraper blade, but we got a blower! <laughs> okay. You're gonna laugh, but the valve that adjusts the idle. Was missing. I don't know if it's this card ring or not, but I'll take it up to a turn and a half and we'll see if this makes any difference at all. all the difference in the world. I don't know if you got that or not. So let's pack this baby up for tonight. <laughs>